So glad you've joined us here this evening. We're going to have a fabulous discussion. We've got some wonderful guests. This is a, a special program we call Witness to History. Tonight we focus on the 44th anniversary of the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy by Sirhan Sirhan. Let me introduce now uh, very briefly the speakers uh, for tonight's event, uh, our witnesses to history. Uh, first, uh, we have uh, to my right, Evan Thomas, a uh, well-known writer and editor at Time and Newsweek. Uh, he's a frequent guest on television news shows uh, nationally and certainly here in the Washington, D.C. area. He's also the best-selling author of eight books, we also have uh, retired Los Angeles uh, police officer Art Placencia. Uh, Art uh, was the arresting officer of Sirhan Sirhan, and he was only three weeks out of the police academy when he made the arrest. So it was the beginning of a long and nearly 40-year career. And to add some perspective, uh, kind of frame the issue of uh, protection of uh, presidential candidates, the security that was in place then and the security that's in place now, much different, as we'll soon learn. Uh, and that's going to uh, be given to us by uh, Secret Service Special Agent Stephen Hughes. He's the special agent in charge of the Dignitary Protection uh, Division of the United States Secret Service. Robert Kennedy was <clears throat> an unusual candidate for president, but 1968 was a very unusual year. There was a sitting president, Lyndon Johnson. He had won by a landslide in 1964. But as uh, some of you are old enough to remember, 1968 was a very volatile time. The Vietnam War was becoming increasingly unpopular. There were uh, tremendous racial tensions, particularly in the cities. Uh, there was, it was a very strange and scary time to a lot of Americans. Well, basically, the reason we weren't protecting there was no law, there was no statutory authority for the Secret Service to protect Robert F. Kennedy. And I, I do love the history, and I love listening to art and recollections of, of that day. A tragic day 44 years ago and it's really for us at the secret service and specifically the division where we work for campaign activities it's 44 years of protection uh anniversary today because on the state we started candidate protection because of this incident um, so there was no law much like um as going back historically many presidents were assassinated and it wasn't until 1901 when president mckinley was assassinated that they realized okay we better now act uh, despite the other assassinations of presidents from Lincoln on through. Uh, so that, that caused Congress to act and create a law where we protect the president after the um, And the same here, the uh, only difference is in 1968, Congress acted the next day and they, they had public law 9331 where it authorized us to protect presidential candidates. And for President Johnson to get Congress to act the next day, it got to be some type of record, not since matched, on how quickly they were able to get protection and the authority to see the protect presidential candidates. Rosie Greer was very emotional. I knew he was crying. He was, he was like on top of him, and you could tell that he was crying. He was holding on to him. So naturally, I asked him very nicely, would you please, you know. No. But uh, I, we asked him, get off, get off, get off of him. And then we were able to get Sirhan, which later we found out it was Sirhan. Took him off the table, and we wheeled him around, and he was facing him. And I took my handcuffs off out of my uh, utility belt, and I handcuffed him. I was the officer actually handcuffed him. It, it was my honor. It, it is really an honor to know that my handcuffs and what I did is being focused at this event here. And thank you very much. But law enforcement, you're out there. When you get called on a call, it might be something like this. I mean, some of them, I mean, I had 39 years and four months, but nothing was ever greater than this. You know, and here I am 44 years later talking about this. So you never know, you, 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 you never know what might happen and you never know when you'll be a witness to history.